the month of November is a month that traditionally the church asks us to focus on life after death. What is life after death? And the technical term is called eschatology. I don't use those big words too often. Eschatology. And basically, when we die, and we all will unless the Lord comes first, there's a judgment. And then, and you, again, you know all this. It's just reminding us. And then, yeah, I, you have one of three places, one of three states you'll go to. Number one, where you don't want to go, hell. And hell is for those who honestly have turned their back on the Lord. Unrepentant mortal sin. If there's unrepentant mortal sin, a person chooses hell. Don't want that. Stay away from sin, all sin, but deadly, grave, bad. The other one is heaven. Heaven is today's gospel. You are not far from the kingdom of God. Where you put God first in all things, you are always doing the will of God. That's all you do. You want to do the will of God. We're going to have some saints up here in a moment. That's what they did. They did the will. They grew to, to do the will of God. We grow to this. We grow to this. Heaven is perfect in all ways. The third place, which is so vital, I'm going to mention something about it in a moment, is the state of what we call purgatory. And purgatory is a wonderful spot in the case, in the sense that if I were to die right now, I have no unrepentant mortal sin, so hell's out, as far as I can tell. God's a judge. Heaven, there's no way that I'm living this gospel like I should. I try my best, but I'm not living, I'm not ready for heaven. You do not want to live with me for all eternity, as I am. God still has work to do with me. But purgatory is where the Lord says, I basically, when I die and judge, Romano Gardini, a great theologian, says it's sort of like you die, you come before Christ, who is the fullness of humanity. And I look at my soul, I look at his fullness of humanity, I look at my humanity, and I say, I am nowhere like you yet. Lord, will you please, I give you permission again, will you please change my soul, make my humanness the fullness of humanity. You follow that? So many people say, I, don't, I only did that because I'm human. Okay, I do something dumb. I only do that because I'm human. That's not right. We do dumb stuff and sin because we are not human enough. Humanity, the fullness of humanity is, the, is Christ himself. And so when I die, if I'm not the fullness of humanity yet, taking on the likeness of Christ, I'm not ready for heaven. And so I'm asking the Lord, God, will you please, in your mercy, continue to purge me of my sins and faults and desires that are wrong. And the Lord... In his teachings, it told us, yes, I will. I will purge you of that. And that's where purgatory comes in. This is where we all come in. Jesus is the, say, he's the intercessor. But we're his children by baptism. We are his body. He allows us in charity to pray for the dead. And so if I would die right now, I would ask every one of you, if I would die right now, I would ask you the next Sunday, you'll walk over to this book over here, it's called the Book of the Dead. And you put my name in there. Because at every Mass, I promise God through November, at every Mass, Lord, my intention is, I want to lift all these names to you, Lord, to help purify these people, prepare them for heaven. If you have someone, a loved one, who you care about, who has died, I encourage you, put their name in that book, so that when Mass is offered, the greatest of all prayers, their name is at least presented to God during the Eucharistic prayer. The other thing is, if I died, I'd also ask every one of you, I need all the help I can get through the body of Christ to offer a Mass for me. And again, if you have a loved one, the greatest prayer we can offer for a loved one who's died to get them into heaven if they aren't there yet and no prayer is ever wasted, but to offer a Mass for them, it allows our action there of asking for a Mass to be offered to purify that person to get them into heaven. And again, it's a simple thing to do. You can offer a Mass for a lot of other things, for birthday, somebody's birthday, an anniversary, uh, whatever it may be, for peace in the world, for vocations. But to offer it for, the, for someone who's died is one of the greatest prayers and actions we can do. So just encourage you to do, teach this to our children and grandchildren and ourselves live that out, to pray for the dead. They will be utterly grateful for it. And when they gain heaven, and even in purgatory, they will pray for us. No question.